Hey everyone, so we're going to be doing a video on the new subjugation event. Um, currently, we have five days left. If you come over here, you can see how many time, how much time we have left. We have five days. The bonus units for this event are going to be the new memories as well as the two new units. Uh, currently, I'm saving up tickets just so I can see how many tickets I can kind of get away with within the five days because it is going to take a total of 20 days for your 100 tickets. So I'm obviously not going to get the full 100 tickets for Subaru, so potentially no boosted unit for me for this event. Kind of unfortunate, they should have made this one like a 15 day one or like a, a much longer one. I was looking through the subjugation events because I was just curious. I looked at least like six or seven of the past ones and they kind of rotate between seven days and like an entirety entirely of like half a month so it's always usually like seven or like 15 to 16 days around there roughly sometimes 11 to 12 days i see as well um i'm not sure why they would go ahead and just do that again they should have just made the 100 tickets 10 a day like they did with the Xion. they should have made it a login bonus which they sort of did you know all you have to do is log in you know technically it's in the missions tab but all you have to do is, again, just log in, go to the missions tab, collect it, and that's it. Unless they start changing missions for it, and today was the only login. I don't see them doing that. That's why I went ahead and made the video already. But it is potentially possible that they make the missions different every day, and they only started off with the login one. But again, I don't see that probably being the case. So it's just kind of unfortunate that not everyone has the potential of pulling Subaru before the event, even though it's so free. Also, one thing I do want to talk about though, the missions for this event are really good. So, they used to be insanely good and then again we got the ticket update where they started giving tickets instead of like gems for this event. It was kind of unfortunate, they messed up the whole pool of rewards, the rewards were terrible. As we've been going, we've been progressing through this event, they've been getting better, they've been doing a lot better jobs with this event in general. And as we see over here, we can actually go and check the max amount of points that we can get for this event. Oh wait, I can actually, we can actually see the missions here. Okay, they're all the same. So it's just login days. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So the max amount of missions is 125,000 rather than its previous 250,000. This is much more doable for free to play players without bonus units. This is super good. I hope it's a consistent thing going forward into the game. I think this is incredible. If they can just copy this, for every future event going forward that's subjugation that it, it would just be great so looking at the rewards also i heard that we get more rewards as well from uh i think the lottery shop i think it was more gems they looked like or it could be from here i i just heard that i haven't actually like tested it out myself you know i haven't done the math or anything but that's what i heard and then as well as the memory i actually don't have translations for the memory let me go ahead and look on the wiki see if i can find it really quick for you guys I completely forgot this thing existed. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really, it, I think it's one of the cutest memories in the game though. It's so adorable. The art is great. Um, I'm trying to look for it, but the memory section of the wiki has been a little buggy lately. It doesn't really show a lot of new memories. Oh, here it is, thank God. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you what it is. I'm not gonna switch on over. Uh, if Amelia can't, if unit is Amelia camp, so the entire, the, uh, the entire, thing reads a melee camp attack plus 15 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is 1923 was that 27 per that's a weird number 4 8 12 yeah that's 27 weird and then awakening 4 which is a passive if unit is a melee camp at the start of battle there's a hundred percent chance 100 percent chance you'll give yourself an attack buff for one turn that's pretty nice this is a pretty dope thing on its own I think it's a little outdated because so many units give attack buff on beginning of battle. So if this was like a rage buff, something a lot more niche, I think that could be really cool. But it's a free to play unit or free to play memory at the end of the day. So I think it's pretty sick. The art's pretty dope. And um, if you know subjugation events uh, previously, the hardest stage was the one that gave you that glowing border memory, which I do miss. I, I do like how we get 100 gems and the title still. Uh, the title is new, but you know, I don't think that replaces the memory in any shape or form I think they just took off the memory there just because and they wanted more people to get to that final bonus uh, 
points. It, it, it's unfortunate. This stage used to be the one to, to do that, but it's it doesn't anymore, so it is what it is. Going through the event, you actually have Shion and Subaru. Actually, like, I guess, like, going through the story, and then you're just, like, the bosses in their way. So I think that's pretty sick. I, I like the, the bosses and the story, kind of, like, the lore implied with this event. I kind of dig it. Then we have the 65k, which I managed to be, I believe, with this team. Yeah, I beat it with this team. You're going to be seeing a clear video on that. Uh, I'm not sure when. Just probably the same day this gets uploaded, which should be tomorrow my time. Right now it's 3 a.m. I'm probably going to upload this at 8 a.m. Like I usually like to upload an hour before daily reset. So that's when you're going to see that. And then later today, I'm probably going to have that video up for you guys. But yeah. I went ahead and used this team, by no means a free to play friendly. This this stage is insanely hard, but you're only missing out on 100 gems, the title, and that's about it. You don't need to be clearing the hardest stage for subjugation events. I've seen a lot of people ask why would I farm this when I can just farm this. That That's the point. You're supposed to be farming the 55k, not the 65k. The 65k is for a one time clear, again for those gems, and the title. It used to be for that memory as well, but again, they've long changed that. So you should be farming the 55k. As you can see, the green means I can auto skip ticket it. So that's probably what I'm doing. I'm only playing three times a day in order to get that bonus crystal to unlock. Again, bonus crystal means you get bonus rewards. It's a one day a thing. It's a one a day thing. You can only play three times and then it'll pop up. You beat it and then it's locked for the rest of the day. So you should be doing that at least once every day if you're saving up like me and then once you actually do your summons or get your bonus characters that's when you can use up the rest of your tickets that's usually my strategy again going into the shop we talked a little bit about when we talked about subaru's banner um wrong one we have the part one shop whenever we get part two it could potentially mean a free subaru so that's pretty cool i think uh, we'll have to wait and see for that but yeah so part one we get 100 free subaru shards you're you're gonna want to go in and clear out the shop this is a summon one which means you get one of the rewards summon 10 you get 10 of these and then this is waste all my points basically or clear out the entire box if you have enough then we have the gold rewards for every single box because after you collect everything here you're gonna want to click right here on the top and it's gonna say hey you haven't collected this item yet are you sure you want to reset then you reset the entire box giving you all of your rewards back as well as the new gold reward although in this specific shop all of the gold rewards are the same usually you want to go all the way up until 10 and then 11 through 13 is fodder then when part 2 comes around you save all the ones you did after getting level through 10 on the first shop then in part 2 you do the same exact thing you get level 10 and then you can pick whatever shop you want to waste all the rest of your points on for that fodder material because uh, the rewards from 10 and onwards or 11 and onwards I should say is just garbage then I was also reading uh, Mesa Strat in the Discord about it. He posted like such a long time ago. I just never bothered reading it. But it was a strategy where once you get to round 11, you keep going until you get your first gems. And then you immediately reset the box because, you know, that those first gems, you have the highest amount of possibility of getting those gems. Then as soon as you get those gems, your your chances decrease immediately so why not always consistently have those great chances by resetting the box so that's something you guys should probably do it's something i'm going to be trying out see how many gems i get from it in total and yeah so that's going to do it for the event shop then we go back to the event again i'm going to have the video up for the 65k in the future coming soon and that is just basically the event it's nothing crazy the bosses aren't hard at all um at least the 55k the 55k is a breeze especially if you have this ram if you have this ram definitely use her definitely take advantage of her any aoe can do the trick just solo subaru then move on to shion shion's not really a big threat on her own especially if units to remove buffs that's main, the, mainly the the big source of damage that she has you can always look at teams here obviously you know boost uh, the Boosted units as well as the newer units are always going to be catered for new events. So if you have them, go ahead and use them. Then we have Mono Red. Just use your best team. It's not that serious. Then once you actually beat every single stage or the stages you're comfortable with, then go ahead and switch to your boosted team as well. If you don't have, you know, the units to 
if you don't have the materials to bring them up to a certain level for them to be actually useful, you can just beat it with your best team and then switch in your bonus units and just start using skip tickets, which is what I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Get my bonus memory, switch it in and skip ticket. That's what I would potentially do, but I'm gonna wait a little bit for multis. I'm gonna wait until the very last day to see how far I can go with all of these summons and tickets that I'm gonna get. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna do it for the event. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, later.